I'm going to show you a clip from one of the coaching calls that I had with a basketball skills trainer that I've been working with. His name is uh, Brandon. And uh, you'll kind of just see some of our conversation. Um, we're talking about sales and talk about promotions. This is kind of a quicker sort of video here. But uh, if you're watching this and you want some advice and, and you want to grow your business, take me up on this. Uh, all you have to do is text me at this number here and I can set up a coaching call with you and me where I can look at your business, I can ask you questions and try to give you some guidance on how to grow and scale your company. So if you're a skills trainer in basketball or any other sport out there, it doesn't matter at this point, we specialize in helping coaches from every sport grow their training business. So if you wanna take me up on that, again, shoot me a text at that number there and uh, enjoy this conversation. We got about 18 clients. Good, man. Uh, so I've been trying to maintain the clients I have currently and give them better results. Uh, just on phone calls, anything. Phone calls have been pretty good. I be I do pretty good with the phone calls. I, I, I think I can sell it. I have those. I use that script every time. Good, man. That works well. And I have my program set up. And then I do the upfront offers with it as well. Good. So this, this is just a little update. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah, I got a lot of clients in my email list that I need to re-engage with. Uh, Dude, we can crush. We can we can crush it over the next two weeks. Easy. We just gotta we gotta get the right message to them at the right time, and doing that sooner is going to be better than doing it later in the summer. Because by the when the summer starts, everybody's busy. They already have their plans. We can attack that now and yeah. I can help you with like the messaging piece. Like and I can help you with that inside the, the community if you want. Oh, yeah. The thing I see is like, I see this across the board with the coaches that I'm working with right now. If that's like a consistent thing that you do throughout the year and we have different promotions, like there you'll never have a month where you're not adding clients. Like, but the, the goal is to be able to keep the clients mm -hmm. in the program. So you're building on your recurring income. That way you're not like yep. getting new people, losing people. It's it's geared towards keeping everyone who's in there and just adding that on top of the base that you have. But now that makes a lot of sense with the promotion. Uh, Re-engage them through email, text, social media, yeah, and uh, get more clients coming in this summer. Yeah. Oh man, that'd be, that'd be big. Yeah. I can go, if you like tag me inside the members area, I'll be able to help you with that personally. Okay. So that way you get, you get calls from those emails. You get calls from the text. Like it's geared towards getting more phone calls. Cause I see right now, that's where like, that's where you move the needle with your businesses. Once someone gets on a call with you, you feel really confident to close them. And you're seeing that. So at that point, it's just it's just about getting more people to a call, close them faster, and having the messaging geared towards getting people to a call. Because that's where you thrive right now. That makes sense. Yeah, getting more people to a call, having a certain amount of sales calls. Yep. And uh, converting on them. Yep. Um, that makes yeah. sense. Yeah, that way we have a set goal of, Here's how many calls that you want to achieve by, by this time. And then from there, it's all about numbers. Like I did this with a, a coach two weeks ago, but his goal was he wanted to have 16 calls in one week. Mm. And based off of his numbers, he knows that he's going to close like right around 40 to 50% of people. And with his offer, he had it set up for eight people. So only eight got to take his offer. So he knew if he had 16 calls, he's going to meet his number of selling eight units. And he was selling an upfront thing for a year. Like, I mean, he did very, very well with that, but he had to hit his goal of sales calls. Otherwise he's not going to hit his, his financial target. Any other, anything else you want to chat about? Uh, updates this year. I'm, uh, I'm going to look more into, uh, try to build that facility. So I'm going to be moving currently. So I'm going to try to see if I can get on building a smaller facility. Uh, yeah, uh, just kind of keep jumping on Zoom calls 
and uh, I'm going to just keep getting in the app, asking questions. Good, man. I love it. Awesome.